Hey guys, Coy with Wilderness Systems. I am on the awesome new river. I've been here all weekend and I wanted to give you just an opportunity here to check out my recon. This is my first season with the new recon. I have the uh, 120 HD, which means it comes with a pedal drive. You can get the standard version uh, that costs significantly less without a pedal drive and set it up like this. Today, um, like I said, I'm on the river, so I don't have my pedal drive with me on this occasion. I've got the pedal drive unit out, but I've got my Torquedo set up. So I'm, this, this setup lets me go up and down the river with ease. There's all kinds of room for standing. You could just take the pedal drive out, in and out as an ease, or you can throw it back in and use it in tandem with this setup. Um, so let's get started. I wanna, have, wanna show you this. I'm shooting by myself today. So let me, uh, let me grab my camera and get started here. I think you're gonna love it. All right, let's get started. So kind of about a stern walkthrough. I'll start with the Anchor Wizard. Uh, so this is a really easy setup. All you need is the crank. I didn't even use the chute portion. Mounted it to the gear track. And then I used the slide track tie downs from Wilderness System as the guide for my, my cord. I put one up here simply to keep this horizontal rod storage area unobstructed. Kind of guides it around. Just run it up to a carabiner tethered with some paracord, a homemade anchor, and then when I'm not using the anchor, I put my slip knot around the carabiner, tighten everything up, keeps all the loose uh, cords and, and ropes out of the way, nice and neat for you. I have um, the rope on the front. This is just a, a rope that I put here for when I'm wade, wading and pulling the boat up through the river. Like I said, to, this weekend I've been using it for the river, application so i don't have the pedal drive unit in uh, i took it out for now gives you a little more room and using the torpedo instead um, so the the paddle i just have it laying here because so i can simply grab it make a quick adjustment you can take it apart and store it on each side get it totally out of the way for you but this is just a, an easy way to grab your paddle quick and have it ready to go um, up here this is where I would mount my uh, Lowrance fish finder. I have the transducer and a power wire running through the hull. Uh, the front hatch area. Put my rod away real quick. Front hatch, hatch area I think you're going to love. So I just have, uh, have my lunch in here. I have a, a Z-Man bait storage, extra uh, dry bags, a rain jacket. And this tub will actually lift out of here and you can have complete hull storage. So if you want to go on the river for an overnight stay, there's all kinds of room. You can put rods down in there. You could put gear, dry bags, whatever you want, a tent. Um, it's gonna bake a great river boat, which is actually, you know, a little bit of a surprise since it's such a big kayak, but I'm having an awesome time with this as a, a river setup. I changed out the foot pegs to um, the Wilderness Motor mount foot pegs and those run through the hull back to the motor um, to, so I'm steering my my torpedo with my feet the seat I don't know if you guys have checked out these seats but easy adjustment right here just pick up slides back and forth really easy I put a pouch underneath and using one of the wilderness tether cords retractable tether cords to attach my phone the torpedo throttle is mounted on a one inch ram ball um, i just did this way because there already has an insert in here here and here this is if you want to change your rudder control to the right side so the inserts are already there why not use them um, but it's a really convenient place to have your throttle the seat it'll come clear out there's a thumb bolt a thumb screw here and a thumb screw on this side take that out and that out and that whole seat just pockets right out. It's fantastic. So your um, your crate is in the back. I have it tethered down at uh, four points. And um, you know, catch board, everything mounted right to the wilderness crate. If you haven't checked out a wilderness crate, you need to do so. Those are awesome. Uh, the Torquedo battery is secured in the back. Um, there he has some, some loops with some cord 
this is my kind of my homemade setup um, I just mount my torpedo on a four inch piece of gear track made a homemade mounting plate um, and the way this works so let's circle around to the other side this is so that I can use my torpedo with my pedal drive if I want to so the purpose here the point to that would be so you can power from point A to B and then use your pedal drive to fish gives you an all-day battery life it's just it's an awesome setup so when I'll show you the what, what's so great about this setup here so when you are if you have your motor up and you're using your pedal drive you prop it up and then you can push on your foot pegs forward that's going to get your foot pegs completely out of the way of your pedal drive so when this goes up you push your foot pegs and the motor slides forward which creates a bunch of slack for the rudder cord and then that allows your foot pegs to go all the way forward and clear the pedals there's a little handy trick that I picked up rigging kayaks over the years um, I do the same setup with my radar so all I have on my radar is a Ford's piece of gear track and I can use the same Torquedo on both kayaks. And you can check out the uh, horizontal rod storage just on both sides. This is really cool and it's great for the rivers because you know I've got one rod in my crate but most of the time I throw in a river I throw them in this horizontal rod storage area because your rods aren't sticking up and hitting tree limbs and those kind of things. So it lays in here nice and neat. Bungee cord to lock them in, and then you're all set. The back is at the seat, the little storage unit to put fish grips, um, dry box, stuff for my wallet. Um, but man, you need to check out these radar, or the recons, excuse me. The recon is turning out to be, even for a wide kayak, it's making an awesome river setup. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this answers any questions you guys have. If you do have any questions, comment below. Let me know. I'd be glad to help you guys out. But hey, I'm going to get back to fishing some smallmouth. Thanks for watching, guys.